Namaste. Welcome to Mental Health and Wellness with Divya Hari. OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. I'm sure you must have heard of this term very frequently. To talk about what OCD is, what are the signs and symptoms, what are few ways you can deal with it, we have with us today Ms. Smriti Suresh. Smriti is a counseling psychologist. She is also queer affirmative and trauma informed in her approach. Let us welcome her on our show today. Hi Smriti, welcome to our show. Hi, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for being here. Uh, so a lot of my peers and my clients have come to me saying that I have OCD, um, please keep the desk clean or I have OCD with regards to correcting people's grammar. In reality, that is not what OCD is, right? So could you tell us what OCD is? Okay, so OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder, it's a condition where people, so when they're facing anxiety, right? You might face anxiety in the sense of you get thoughts, worried thoughts, right? People with OCD, they have a condition where these thoughts are obsessions, right? So these worries will repeat constantly in their head. These obsessions are basically intrusive thoughts. So these thoughts enter their brain without any permission. They're unwanted and they can often be very repulsive. So sometimes it can be they have doubts like they wonder if they've switched off the stub, right? So they go and they check the stub. And then they think, have I switched off the stub again? It's a repetitive, intrusive thought. Okay, so that's an obsession. But where the compulsion comes in is compulsions are these repetitive behaviors that people with OCD engage in so that they can get rid of these intrusive thoughts. So say, we'll talk about that checking example again. You check the stub. Then you get the thought, then you check the stuff again, and then you check it again and again and again until that's become a habit, right? So you're repetitively checking the stuff. But these compulsions can also be different in the sense they can be rituals. So sometimes these intrusive thoughts, these obsessions, they can be about very strange, very unnatural things. For example, they will think something bad is going to happen, right? or something horrible is going to happen if I don't do something. So then when they do that thing, they feel, okay, if I do this particular ritual, if I tap this table 10 times every hour, then nothing bad is going to happen. Then I'm safe. So that's how these compulsions have become rituals so that they can get rid of their intrusive thoughts. So the main thing about OCD is distress. Yeah, because of these anxious thoughts that keep invading their brain and the actions they take to get rid of it. You beautifully spoke about how obsessive compulsive disorder is nothing but obsessive thoughts and to get rid of those obsessive thoughts, people carry out compulsive behaviors. So like you mentioned, some things are very unnatural. So one more thing I've always observed is seeking for reassurance constantly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people also perform rituals like um, tapping their forehead a lot of times they think that something might happen to them if they don't mm -hmm. or probably even locking the door checking cross-checking if they've locked the door over 10 times even though they know they have one more thing I've also heard a lot is people believing that OCD is nothing but a person who is very hygienic mm -hmm. but in reality a lot of people are afraid of cleaning messes because they fear something might happen so they have the obsessive thought that if I clean my mess, my day is going to go horrible. So they have um, thoughts about a worse thing happening, which in reality cannot happen. So what do you have to say about people believing that OCD is nothing but being hygienic? Okay, so when it comes to being hygienic, you can be completely hygienic and it will have nothing to do with anxiety. So you can think, I just don't want to be dirty. I want to keep my room clean. I want to keep myself clean. But do you have to? Is there some thought in your brain that says, if I don't stay clean, then something horrible is going to happen, right? Say this might happen. There is some basis in reality. But the thing about OCD anxiety is that this chance, this fear of uncertainty, it's so magnified that they feel out of control. Mm -hmm. So they're like, to 
prevent myself from catching any diseases i'm going to keep cleaning every surface that is when you have ocd but if you just like clean surfaces then that's totally fine if you think you are a slave to your compulsions or if those thoughts are so high that you can't help but follow the compulsion that you're feeling that's when you need to seek help like you mentioned being hygienic is different but being hygienic because you fear that something might happen is different what do you think are some of the causes of ocd what do you think contributes to a person developing ocd or what do you think are the causes that lead to a person having these intrusive thoughts so there's no easy answer for this like most psychological disorders mental health disorders we don't really know what causes ocd in particular but we know some risk factors so we know that if you have close relatives who display ocd symptoms or have ocd themselves you are more likely to have it right genetic. so there, there's a genetic component apart from genetics there is also a component of stress so stress doesn't cause ocd if you go, go through a great amount of stress what might happen is you might trigger ocd this is true for any mental health disorder if you have that tendency to get ocd and you go through a huge life change or a huge stressful event right which has struck you deeply you might start displaying these symptoms and that will be the start of your symptoms um you beautifully mentioned how stress can contribute to causing ocd even though it is not a direct reason mm -hmm. so probably if a person is going through stress for a prolonged period of time them contributing to you know having these continuous thoughts that okay how do i deal with this stress obviously for any mental health disorder or any psychological disorder uh, seeking therapy or seeking help being the first initial primary step what are few ways which people can deal with ocd like you said the first step is seeking help so generally in the form of therapy right so in therapy what the therapist will do is they will help this person with ocd deal with their symptoms by exploring those obsessions those fears those anxieties without performing the compulsive act right so sort of disassociating that ritual from the thought so say your thought is i am afraid something terrible is going to happen you look into why you expect that where the thought is coming from and to cope with it we are not using that unhealthy method that is tapping 10 times will stop anything bad from happening because that causes a lot of distress in itself right so to stop that you disassociate that that's one thing if you or someone you know someone you love has ocd the main thing to do is to be patient right especially while you are seeking help because the thing about ocd is they are not in control of these they're not consciously in control of these symptoms so you stressing about it you scolding them or you scolding yourself right is not going to help because stress will only make the symptoms get worse or get more prominent like you mentioned um having or being in control of how you deal with a person who is having ocd is very important because they are not in control of their thoughts they do not want to have these thoughts they don't do not want to carry out these compulsive behaviors continuously in a way i feel like a lot of people also make fun of them mm -hmm. like encouraging this or even mimicking their behavior so i feel it is disrespectful for the person who is facing such a serious condition so apart from carrying out compulsive behaviors or having these intrusive thoughts are there any other signs and symptoms which a person can look for in ocd right so the main thing about ocd is obsessions and compulsions if you see someone who is struggling with big uncertainties that is they feel something terrible is going to happen my loved ones are going to face problems i'm going to catch a disease that is a main thing right so the thing about disease about contamination is that it's something big that you can't control so what people with ocd face is that feeling of lack of control and compulsions are their way of seizing control right so they're saying once this action is completed i'll be safe everyone will be safe my loved ones will be safe i won't catch any diseases which is not true right it's a ritual 
Yes, for example, um, like we previously mentioned that if we go and touch this table 10 times, mm -hmm. my loved ones will be safe. Yeah, the thing about OCD is these symptoms cause a lot of distress. So say someone believes, like someone religious who believes that doing this ritual will protect their family. That's not OCD, right? That's belief. That's the belief which people have that if they have this belief, that is OCD. So, mm. yeah, right? So what happens? What actually happens here is this ritual, the person with OCD themselves believes I have to do this. If I don't do this, a calamity is going to occur. So the association of this ritual with the calamity occurring, something they cannot control. This fear of uncertainty drives their symptoms. So the symptoms of OCD that you can look out for in people is first of the compulsions because they're easy to spot. They can be external, so it might include maybe tapping something or checking something continuously or they have to walk in and out of a door like a, many times, right? That is one symptom, but they can also be internal. Like for example, they feel that say I am doing this and something bad is going to happen. Now I'm going to think one phrase in my head 10 times or maybe they have a lucky number seven. So then they count to seven continuously and it's not in their control they just feel they have to do it right that is what you can look for in someone with OCD you beautifully explained how um, their compulsive behaviors are not just external but they're internal too mm. like counting numbers yeah. a, a lot of people also believe in if they don't take a bath every time like every one hour they might catch a disease mm. so these are some of the signs and symptoms people can look for in OCD right so, before we wrap up, can you give us the mental health tip of the day? Okay, so the mental health tip of the day is, this is a fact, right? The One of the most protective factors on your mental health are your relationships. Your close, intimate, personal relationships. So my tip of the day is, check on your loved ones, see how they're doing, right? And check how they help you and how you help them. That mutual support is your main protection for your mental health. Thank you so much for um, your words. I think now there is more clarity as to what OCD is and OCD is not, not just being hygienic mm -hmm. but it is a lot more than that and the gravity of this disorder has been conveyed. Thank you so much for um, all that you mentioned about OCD. I think it was very helpful. I hope you now know what OCD is. I will be back in another episode with another topic. Until then, take care, stay safe. Click on the bell icon to watch your latest videos.